Please. Everybody out here, they're here not just not to have fun, but because they need to. Kim Moser says she relies on the sales she makes at her father's flea market on Highway 9 in Boiling Springs to make ends meet. And she says many of the people who shop there are in need as well. We see a lot of people come in that can't afford clothes otherwise for their families and, you know, other household things. Moser is worried about proposed changes to the flea market ordinance that will be considered Monday evening by Spartanburg County Council. We kind of feel like this is a family here. Um, it's almost like, you know, your family's being picked on. County Council asked the planning department to look at further requirements for flea markets after getting safety and appearance complaints. They feel like the county is just trying to run them off. What's your response to that? No, no. Um, County Council is not seeking to run anyone off. In fact, in these economic times, they told us to just work with these people to be sure, you know, that they meet some set of standards. Holiday says the changes would require that flea markets sit on at least two acres, keep parking separate from vendors, are at least 200 feet away from a residence, have no outdoor speakers, not allow RVs or campers on the property overnight, and not allow goods sold from truck trailers. County Councilman O'Neill Mintz says the county will also require some sort of landscaping. Couldn't it possibly take jobs away if these flea markets have to shut down because they can't meet the standards? Uh, Diane, this is a community we're speaking of here is, is, is a bedroom community and this is one of the gateways into Spartanburg and we got to make sure that the gateways coming into town are for businesses like Olive Garden, um, uh, Applebee's, uh, Ruby Tuesdays. But Moser wonders if the much smaller businesses like her father's will be able to keep up with the county's rules. In Spartanburg County, Diane Derby, 7 on your side.